videos about my everyday foundation routine. People think I have flawless skin, but really I don't. I have um, a bunch of redness right here on my cheeks. And um, honestly, the quick was, quickest way for me is just to airbrush. And I, it always comes out with a flawless finish. Um, today I'm going to be using Graftobian's foundation. I'm usually either morning glow or after glow. But since it's winter time, winter time, I am morning glow. This is, um, I really recommend this. It's very nice. It's like a semi-matte. When, um, applied to the skin, you don't really need to set it. You can on your, maybe on your T-zone or anywhere oily, but really, you don't really need to set it. Let's get started. Okay. So basically the gun I use for airbrushing is by Dynair. It's very user friendly. I like it. Small. I can bring it to the gym with me after I work out, take a shower, pop on my foundation. No problem. So I'm going to put about six to seven drops in this bib. And the trick with this is you just want to keep it moving um, unless you want to cover certain spots. But um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I primed my skin, by the way, with, um, in between clips, I put on Max Prep and Prime and Revine Zone on the T-Zone. Take a closer look. See all this redness right here? It's gonna go away. When I go under the eyes, I kind of concentrate it so that it actually covers. Real quick, I want you to take a look at um, this side of my face and this side of my face. You can definitely tell that there's a difference. See all that redness that's showing up right here? Oh, it's my phone. Hold on. No one important. Anyways, um, but you see the difference? This one is some, no redness. This still has redness. So I'm just going to continue on the whole face and I'll be right back. So I'm back and as you can tell I finished off the whole foundation here and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. So you get a lot of coverage at the same time. It's super lightweight and you don't feel like, I don't feel like it's going into my pores, you know? so. Um, so now that my face is all blanked out, I want to put some color into my face. So to do that, I'm going to use two products. I'm going to use...
Well, I guess three, technically. First off, the MAC Wonder Woman in Pink Power Mineralized Skin Finish. I like it because there's like a, that contour color in the middle. And this is not really a blush. I don't really use this color at all because it's just shimmery pink. But I definitely use the highlight. So, contour, highlight. And then for a blush, today I feel pinky, I guess. And, um... I'm going to use this La Femme color in Coral Spice. Super pigmented. So those three colors to give some dimension to the face. And this is how. With a beautiful fan brush. I like it. It's really user friendly. Again, simple, easy. You don't have to worry about using two brushes, I guess, or one brush to really blend out the contour and uh, blush products. So, I'm going to go ahead and contour with Max Wonder Woman, that middle color right there. It's a matte color. You don't want anything too shimmery to contour your face. Make it look like clown shiz. a little bronzed, a little skinnier. <laughs> Next I'm going to go into the, that La Femme Coral Spice color. People say it looks like orgasm by NARS. I wouldn't know. I don't have that blush. But La Femme blushes are very pigmented, so you just have to be very careful, and a little goes a long way. Just gives you that healthy glow for my skin. I'm kind of like a NC40. If you want to know my skin tone. And usually these pinks don't show up on me, but this one, surprisingly... <laughs> so there's that healthy flesh. And then last but not least, go back into that Mac Wonder Woman trio or any highlight. So yes, this is the finished face. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and please subscribe. Alright, see you later. Bye!